Good evening, YouTube. You guys are now watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Today, we're going to be playing Blue Eyes Chaos Piper. I still don't know what to call this deck, but um, let's actually, since I don't know what to call it, let's go about the story of it. Um, just to let you guys know, ahead of time, I don't play uh, other builds. Um, I don't play anybody else's decks. I, I This is straight from the scratch um, from me. There, there are some exceptions. I'll play it like if somebody really wants me to play a certain deck, I'll probably play it for, um, for you know, uh, just to showcase it off, like the Neospatian deck. Um, other than that, I don't like go out there and play other people's decks. Everything is um, my creation. I don't want to say originality because in order to be competitive, you have to play key cards to allow you to win the game. Um, and that that's one thing frustrating about Yu-Gi-Oh. But back to the original story, the winner came to me, he's like, hey, you should play Mr. Piper, really, you know, just just telling me to play this guy, and I'm like, alright, I see his build, and I'm like, man, it's not bad, but I'm gonna give it a shot, I go in there, uh, start playing Mr. Piper, obviously, that's what he asked me to do, uh, turns out that I've, I've always played, I've played Mr. Piper on and off for, since the debut of Mr. Piper, so I know the ins and outs of the deck. I know um, what to play, what not to play, so building it wasn't that hard. Uh, going into it, I'm playing it like I used to play it, which is when agents were a top deck, I don't remember. Um, and it's not the greatest thing in the world. It's actually not what it used to be. Um, and so I'm like, man, what new cards helps this deck become better? What, how can I make this deck better than what it used to be? And Blue Eyed Maiden comes about. I'm like, well, it's a level one monster. It's search or it, you, when you draw what Piper, you get to draw. Um, all I have to do is find a way to target it without disrupting the flow. And fortunately, there's so many ways. There's so many. What the hell am I playing with? <gasps> there's so many ways and so many combos to make this deck good. Like, to give this deck an advantage. What the hell? Uh, okay, he's obviously going for Yoke. We might have a problem, guys, because I have no answer to Yoke. Alright, special summoning to Cess, no, it's perfectly fine. Um, not bad, not bad. But, um, it, it's just, the deck is just so good with the Blue Eyes version. It, it adds so many dimensions, it adds a, a huge, um, a different aspect of the deck. It allows the deck to do things that you you never thought because before Mystic Piper was um, I want to say a, a, a defensive type deck. It was a reactive type deck. It'll wait till your opponent attacked, then it'll drop the track, then the gores and all that other stuff. Not this version. It, it's not like that. It's it does have that defensive you know that reactive step to it because yes it is Mystic Piper. But it also comes with a lot of other tricks, and you, you really got to enjoy what it does bring to the table. Um, just fun to play. That's really the only thing I can say. Uh, right now, I do not have the best hand in the world, and I am going to try. Perfect. I'm going to try to take advantage of that. Uh, it would turn to level one, which is not my cup of tea. So we're gonna just switch Trago to get to attack and bait out his back row, hopefully. I want him to use back row on the Trago to but I mean, any smart player will let the card go away so they can get his effect. So I guess you can say this is a test to see if this player knows what he's doing. Um, 1400 damage to send a fire monster to your graveyard, it shouldn't be anything. And he does, so he's not that bad of a player. Um, man, I don't want to give him Yoki because I know. Wait, it has to be sent through an effect, right? When this card is blah blah, blah you can target. When this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect. Mm, okay, so it wouldn't have been. Oh no, he's really playing. Okay, sure. I'm not gonna knock him. Maybe, maybe he can win this game, or maybe he can give me the challenge. So we'll go one for one in main phase two. Something I really don't like doing is one for one uh, for another Mr. Piper. But I need that draw. I need that draw power. And then 
we're gonna Mystic Piper our way into a. What are you gonna give us? Maiden with Eyes of Blue, which gets us the Skill Prisoner. So now we have the combo. Um, 2400 attack. Damn it, I'm in such a position right now. Oh, I can still normal summon. I'm not in a position at all. So, Dragodia is going to drop down to next to nothing attack. Just so Blue Eyed Maiden can do its thing. And we're good. I do have that Phoenix Wing Glass to get rid of his pesky monster. And I guess I'd have to sacrifice an effect Veiler to do it. In the main phase. That's fine. But do I need the Trigodia? No, I don't. I do not need the Trigodia. Wait, yeah, I do. Wait, no. No, because I'm going to have to wind up getting rid of it anyways. I can't get rid of it with a blue eyes, unfortunately. Hmm. Well, I need the effect either as well. Yeah, actually, let's get this engine rolling now. This might as well. I mean, nothing else we can do. Ah, crap. I thought it was the Zen face. Don't make a response. Okay. And then your effect. Now, it's something you have to realize about this deck. The first thing is that this deck genuinely is relentless. Um, the second thing is that when I have no cards in hand, miraculous things happen. <laughs> like, it, it's, it's crazy because they genuinely do happen. Um, and this deck can control the board or draw cards extremely fast with Mystic Piper, Kinkabayo, uh, Wonder Wand, uh, it's just so many ways this deck can gain advantage through hand. Even what, So I'm, I'm pretty confident even when I don't have any cards in my hand. No, I'm not going to finish one of the last yet. Typhoon, oh. Thank you. The glory is a mystical space Typhoon. I need you. I want to prevent him from doing it again. Ever. <laughs> so, I'll just go ahead and pass. That's my, my job is to prevent him from going to Yoki, and I don't want to give up the Typhoon or the effect of it. Now, uh, Phoenix Wooling Blast serves a multitude of purposes. Uh, the first thing is that it's Phoenix Wooling Blast. It's over the opponent's targets. The second thing is that it is Phoenix Wind Wind Blast. It allows me to discard outlets like Blue Eye, the dead Blue Eyes White Dragons, uh, multiple cards in my hand, uh, just any of those cards that are useless, and then gain advantage off of it. Since this deck generates so much cards in hand quickly, um, it, it, it really hurts to do anything else. I please tell me you're attacking with the Barong first. Just do that for me. Do that for me, please. So then when I, yes. Then when I Wing Blast you, I can get some advantage. So, switch to defense, and we'll summon that Blue Eyes. Now, go ahead and try to attack it again. Bottomless. The struggle. Didn't see that coming. Oh, well. Bye-bye, Blue Eyes. I mean, as long as he's wasting resources. Yeah, we'll Phoenix Wind Blast. The Lance? Yes, Lance and he'll cry, I guess. And actually isn't a bad idea, because Yoki is one of the only cards um, that could stand Gruelic, so it's not that bad. He has the Lance. I have nothing to respond to. At least I'm getting rid of background. What do you have? What do I have? Alright, 
that. Come on, Kinkabaya. This is gonna be a game. I promise you guys that. I am going to go ahead and pass my turn. Uh, I can't afford running into nothing, you know, running into something, uh, running into one of his back row and then losing my monster. It, it's going to be a pain. I can promise you that. That blind typhoon. All right. I love you. I officially love you. I officially love you. You are the best player in the world. Circle of the fire. Sure. I officially love you now. You are the best player in the world, that blind typhoon. Man, you're great. So, how am I gonna use this? I need to bring out some type of advantage. He's gonna attack with his yoke. Hmm. If I think this changes his yoke, oh. Um. Hmm. But he has a lantern. We'll just finish. I'm sorry, I can't lose my blue eyes. There's no way I can lose my blue eyes today. And now I know you have a forbidden lance. So now you're gonna lance it. That's fine. Uh, no. There you go. Go ahead and lance it. Hmm. So now I'm in a position to rip Black Luster Soldier. Or some other credible monster. I forgot all about that lean Yoki. I probably should have just let him have it. Save the lance for the Yoki. Hmm. I need a miracle. Something that this deck is extremely good at. So we're at 42, he's at 66. That was a very awkward death. Wonder why. Huh. That's fun. I can be risky. I'll take some damage, but hell, I really don't have much of a choice. So, we'll normal summon effect over. We'll go that card to add battle figure. We're gonna take 2,000 damage. I mean, it's nothing else we can do. But, it's going to give us some time. We'll wonder why the effect failed, so now we don't have to see it on the field. And then we'll draw two cards off. Alright, see? Now we get what we need. Or a little more. Work. So at the cost of 2,000 life points, we are able to get something of merit. I don't really want to pull that trick off again because you know gaga -ga -ga cowboy he's just like roaming around hmm. it would be nice to rip a chaos monster it'd be or uh well no creature swap maybe wouldn't work it would be nice to rip something of merit let's just put it that way oh wait actually i don't need to rip something of merit i have this card line i just need to rip something no I can pull out blue eyes, but blue eyes really won't help me. That's the problem right here. And the problem is blue eyes won't help me. Mm. Hmm. What do you want to do with the cowboy effect? Okay. Maybe the other blue eyes will help me. Black Luster Soldier. Whew! Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? But since you have back row, let's bait out his back row. Let's bait out his back row. He definitely has something. And like, as you can see, this deck plays extremely awkward. I, I really can't tell you how, because even though I'm low in life points, the biggest thing is having advantage. That's what this deck loves to do. And if I don't have advantage, I'm losing the game. It doesn't matter about life points, as long as you can gain that advantage. Once you gain that advantage, you can take over the game. So I'm gonna add that Maiden. Um, I'm gonna summon Maiden. 
So now I won't take 2,000 damage. Thank you very much. Alright. We're gonna activate Skill Prisoner. Target Maiden. Response. I'm gonna make a work for it. What's your response? What did you add? Did you add to make a circle of fire king? Yes. Activate your effect. You're gonna give me that blue eyes. What is use your response? I need you to. We've already used bottomless. Um, so now we synchro. Ooh, I like Leo. I'm just not gonna go into him right now. We synchro into the ultimate engine of destruction. What are you waiting? I'm starting to think he doesn't have anything. Because he needs to stop this card right now. What do you have? Go ahead and use it. He's, he's definitely thinking. But you really need to, if you have any responses, use it on that blue eyes. Because that blue eyes is going to be a pain. Infinite Blue Eyes White Dragon, there you go. Which I was hoping that you didn't have Compulse, but you just seem to draw all your one ups. So we'll banish one light and one dark. I like how I always have that one dark monster for BLS. BLS activate this effect and banish you. I don't like your face. Response? He still has responses? Oh god. I don't have any more dark moths, but he doesn't have another compulse, so it's cray cray. What do you have for me? Forbidden Lance? I don't know. He's definitely thinking. Circle of Fire King. Okay. But doesn't it prevent itself from being destroyed? Oh yeah, that, that is what he added. That's fine. That's fine. So maybe if he has another level 4, he can snatch my PLS. But I don't understand. Yeah, I figured that would happen. So, back to you. Sacred Phoenix can't attack. We have two cards in hand. I'm not liking this, but... It's definitely got me the win. <laughs> the struggle. Nobody wants to deal with PLS. Um, that was a really interesting game. Um, I don't know how that would have handled. No, I'm pretty sure I know. I mean, seeing that he quit, I know how that would have handled in the end. Um, man, banishing that blue eyes hurt because I was I was gonna go blue eyes engine, but going into blue eyes skill prisoner saved the day, um, allowing me to get rid of his compulse and then drop my two, true intentions, which was the black luster soldier, and banish stuff. Uh, he did get that circle of the fire kings with um, with uh, the Boong, I believe, and it didn't help him much. I, I don't think you should be mixing battling boxers with fire kings. They already they both have some inconsistency problems in themselves. Uh, thank you guys for watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Please like, comment, subscribe, but most of all, enjoy.